welcome back to the shit show. Actually, funny enough, uh, my video, my last video was eight minutes, almost nine minutes. I don't like, I don't like to do long videos, plus it takes a long ass time for it to upload. <coughs> Chinese food on the menu tonight. I got some soy sauce. Stuff get you faded, lit up, hammered, smashed, tore up, <laughs> a chat up, get you blitzed, buzzed, sun it up. Yeah, I haven't been talking to John. I'm sure John's watching this right now. I haven't. Uh, kind of been avoiding him because he gets on my nerves. So does Emil. Text me every day. I feel like hell. I feel like hell. Wake up. Wake up. You Disneyland. You at Disney World. After a while I get sick of hearing that shit. Fuck. Get off my dick. Fucking get a life. Go on and bug other people. I'm sick of getting bugged. For crying the fuck out loud for Pete's sake. It's like a broken record every day. Same old shit. He texts me. Yeah, John. Get on my damn nerves. I ain't gonna lie, he's kind of fun to hang out with. Go golf and drink, but... Other than that... Shit. He costs you a lot of money. He's like, I want the money. Go to the ATM machine. Go to the ATM machine. Get, get another 20 bucks. Get another 40 bucks. Next thing you know, you're broke. He goes through money like, man, he goes through money like water. Shit. Well, he got it because he's been working at the same damn place 20-some years. He could afford it. But he's got a shit ton of bills. All I got is my car insurance, medical bills, food. I don't pay rent, utilities. But I help my mom. I take care of her litter box, take her trash out, clean, help her clean, uh, uh, help run errands for her, bring her groceries in. I do a lot for my mom. And like I just sit on my ass all day. I work 40 hours a week. I gotta, um, you know, maybe one day I could get back on my feet, get my own place, settle down with a girl. I was at the emergency room today. I didn't tell you guys because of my ankle. I got this uh, shit. There's a problem with my ankle. And that's yeah, something else. But I met this black chick, 19 years old. We got along pretty good. We talked for about 10 minutes. She's uh, used to live in Atlanta, Georgia. Has like 14 or 15 siblings. Uh, after getting talking to her, I offered her to take down my phone number, gave her my phone so she could take, she's kind of pretty, she said she might have breast cancer at 19 years old, kind of sad, she had like a surgery, uh, some kind of thing on her back, she had to get removed, I forget what it was, but first time I met her, I ran in her, she was sitting in the waiting room at the emergency room, got to talking to her, uh, her name's Brianna, black, really kind of pretty hot black chick. Uh, she said she was throwing up. She, uh, I, I don't think she's going to call me, but you never know. It's a shot in the dark. She seemed to take an interest and a liking to me. She was watching a movie up above. You know, at hospitals, they always have uh, movies and shit. I apologize. I talk too much. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna show you yellow groove. 
I show Yellow Groove one day. Uh, he was boss. Uh, I like him. Because he cooks outdoors. And he shoots fireworks. But I'm going to school him. I'm going to punk him one day. I'm going to show him who's boss. I'm going to put out one, one of these days. I swear to fucking God. I'm going to put my own show. It might not be tomorrow. It might not be next week. It might not be next year. It might not be in five years. But it's going to happen. I'm going to light off fireworks. He's going to, well, Yellow Group's going to, his mouth is going to drop, like, uh, hit the floor, like, oh. And then he's going to be like, whoa. I'm going to whoa him. Get stoked, guys. I ain't lying. And I'm going to cook some mad hamburgers. I'm going to show him who's boss in the house. I'm going to cook some cook-up steak, throw it down. He'll be like, man, I never knew Todd had it in him like that. I'm going to show him. Then there's going to be a next Smurf and a next, uh, young buck that's going to want to try to compete against me. You take one out, another one comes in. One door shuts, another opens. The beat goes on. Punk fucker. Fucker, 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 fucker. Fuck. No, I'm just... I'm trying to tone it down a little. Wouldn't mind a buzz ball. Let's see how much time is left on this. Now we're doing good time. Yeah. You know, it's, it's crazy because all the, all the really cool fireworks kind of got to go like 2,000 miles just to go get some cool fireworks and then cost gas and then you got to have a lot of money. But the good thing is when you, you get to them places, they don't, they don't charge you as much for the fireworks. Oof. You know, so. I might go on live stream, uh, Kit Yallager. I need a new, or um, create a new name, but pretty much fuck Google, fuck all the hierarchy people that think their shit don't stink and you take your dog out and your dog pisses just like our dogs piss when we take them on a leash and you, pi you piss the same piss we piss, you shit the same shit, you bleed the same as we bleed. Our fuckers think they're pompous and just because they make a shit load of money, they think they're better than us peons and, you know, um, us stiff, you know, stifflers, stifflers. We're, st we're stiffs at work, but what can you do? We drive, um, you know, clunkers to work. You know. Oh well. Wow. Uh, fuck society. Fuck. We don't have freedom. We can't do everything we we really like to do. You know, I understand there has to be. Uh, right, things have to be regulated, and there has to be laws and uh, you know enforced. I I understand, but we I think we take it too fucking far. Society fucking sucks, and I really mean that. I'm getting older, and things do suck. Cheers. <laughs>